anyone ever told you that you need to grow up? Yeah. That, <laughs> that if you don't start getting serious and get realistic about your plans, you're never actually going to succeed. Well, I'm here to tell you today that it was those exact same qualities that some may call immature are actually the traits that will propel you towards success. And that's because innovators, entrepreneurs, world leaders, world-class athletes, and people that simply live lives that they're proud of all have one thing in common. They never grew up. In many ways, they kept the ability to see themselves and the world through a childlike lens. They never stopped thinking like a child. And today, I'm going to tell you why keeping your inner child will help you achieve your goals quicker and have a lot more fun along the way. So my name is Kyla Bolden. When I was 20 years old, I started a business called WizKit Coding that teaches kids how to code. And since then, I've had the opportunity to be involved in a lot of other businesses that are not only innovative, but are doing things that I truly believe in. And if you would have told me as a ninth grader that I'll be running my own business by the time I was 20, I probably would have laughed and said, no way, who would, who would take me seriously? And if you would have asked any of my classmates, told any of my classmates that I'll be running my own business before I even graduated university, they probably all would have laughed. But I've always wanted to be an entrepreneur. I remember having detailed conversations to my parents as a child about how one day I was going to grow up and own my own business. In fact, for my preschool graduation, all the graduates had to say what they wanted to be when they grew up, and five-year-old me said, I want to be a boss. And when you came over my house for a play date as a child, we didn't play house or dress up. I would make all my friends sit down and write business plans with me. <laughs> and I have journals and journals from when I was a child of business ideas and descriptions on how I thought my life was going to be when I grew up. And it's funny, when I was 10, I thought for sure by the time I was 14, I'll be having my own, my own business, going to meetings with Bill Gates, getting interviewed by Oprah. I was, yes, very optimistic and also a little naive, but these were my dreams, and I was sure that I was going to achieve them. And as I got older and I continued to write, da write down in my journals about what I wanted to do and what I wanted to be when I grew up, my thinking started to shift. I thought, no way it's realistic that I'm going to accomplish anything big anytime soon. So I started to write down a plan that I thought that I would need to definitely stay on to achieve my dreams. I thought by sh for sure I would have to go to university, then work five years after that, then go to a great MBA school, and then go to law school because, you know, that's smart, and then work another seven years. And sometime in my mid to late 30s, only then would it be okay for me to take that risk and go after my big dream of starting my own business. This was a plan that was, I would say, definitely a lot more realistic, more practical, and more similar to my peers, and something that I think my teachers definitely would have found smart. And I stayed committed to this plan. I got into great schools, I worked hard in school, I got impressive internships, I was checking off the boxes. And in my third year of university, I got an internship, a summer internship, at a consulting firm. And I was so excited because this was going to be help me set me up to get into a great MBA school. But two weeks before the end of the school year, they called me and told me that they were canceling their summer internship program. And just like that, I was out of a job. That box was now unchecked. And I was already stressed and sleep deprived from exams, and it was too late to apply to another summer internship. So I decided I'm just going to finish off the school year. And two weeks later, I found myself back home with no job, just a plan of what I thought I needed to do to succeed in my goals, a plan that just been completely torpedoed by circumstances I couldn't foresee coming. And to make matters worse, I was, my parents had moved to a new city when I was in university. So I was in a new city with no job, no friends, and I had no idea what to do. So after a little bit of wallowing in self-pity, I'm a busybody, so I decided, let's get up, Kyla. You can't stay around the house all summer long. So I went and applied for a bunch of retail positions, and I didn't get any of them. And then I thought, oh, I'm a millennial. Why don't I go work in a juice bar? And that didn't work out either. So needless to say, I had a lot of free time on my hands. And I started to do something that I've been doing since I was a child. I journaled. I will write down what I did that day, got coffee, watch a Netflix episode, or rather a series. 
I write down how bored I was, and I would pray to God that my internship could just magically fall out of the sky so that I could get back on the track that I thought I needed to be on to succeed. And after a while about journaling about pretty much nothing, and honestly, after I've watched, binge-watched enough TV shows, my journaling took a turn from self-pity to brainstorming. I began to think about the person I wanted to be, the things I actually wanted to accomplish. I began to regain the habits of my eight-year-old self again. I started to think about what did I want to do with my life? And I forgot the restraints and took them off my dreams and I started to just write down the person I wanted to be and everything I wanted to do, just like how kids do. And through keeping my inner child and thinking like a child, I said, now's the time to start my own business. I forgot about the obstacles that I thought I needed to hop over to do something that I wanted to do since I was a child. And that's when I started WizK Coding a company that gives kids the technical skills to be innovators and maybe even grow up to be entrepreneurs. And I decided from the beginning that WizK Coding was going to be amazing, that I wasn't going to think about all the obstacles that I thought I needed to hop over to achieve this dream. I was just going to go for it, just like children do. And throughout my entrepreneurial journey, I have found that keeping your inner child is something that really gives you momentum and helps you to forget about the obstacles and just to keep going to dream without restraints. And that's another thing that has helped me a lot throughout my entrepreneurial, entrepreneurial journey, dreaming boldly. And this is something that we do so easily as children, something that we all did. We didn't think about the obstacles, we just thought about our dreams. And learning to code was something that helped me keep the ability to dream boldly. I learned how to code when I was young because I wanted my Tumblr to look cool. And after delving into website development, I began to become fascinated with the fact that with coding, you could create something on the internet that's beautiful, no matter who you are, no matter what your age was, that the whole world could see. And naturally, having a natural entrepreneurial mindset that I had, I began to think about the different business ideas I could do via the internet. I came up for ideas of online styling companies and just a variety of different business ideas. And it's funny because when I was young, I actually thought these businesses were gonna come to light. I would come home after track practice and think about all the things I needed to do to achieve my business. I would write down my goals, write down the things I needed to accomplish, and I would actually believe that these things were going to happen. And because that's what kids do. They dream boldly. They don't think about all the obstacles they need to accomplish the goal. They just think about the dream. And I know this because when I work in schools, kids tell me, when I grow up, I want to be prime minister, or I'm going to be a rock star when I grow up, or I'm going to play in the NBA. They don't think about the obstacles they need to, the obstacles they need to jump over to achieve their dreams. They just think about the goal. And I think if we all learn to dream boldly and be optimistic about our goals and not just focus on the obstacles, we'll be able to go and build the life that we're most the lives that we're most interested in. Just if we dream boldly and we'll accomplish the lives that we enjoy even more. And that's another thing that kids do that I think we all need to do. They do activities that they enjoy. And that sounds simple, but it's not something that adult we do once we become adults. It's something that we sometimes forget to do. And I learned the importance of this when I went to university. I was so excited to go to university. I was excited to study the subjects that I actually liked, and I was also excited to live in the college campus. But once it came time to pick my major, I became so wrapped up with what I thought would be impressive to other people, what future employers would find impressive. And I decided to study international relations and economics, not because I was interested in it, but I thought it would be impressive to other people. But after a while of doing subjects that I wasn't really interested in, I began to say, this is not worth it. I need to do something that I like. I rolled in the entrepreneur class, entrepreneurship class. Well, I get to study things that I like, Work, study startups and think about my own startup. And then I rolled in an English class where I get to write and be introspective. And through making this change, I found that I was able to do so much better in school. And those subjects that I decided to take by just deciding to do activities that I liked actually are more relevant to me today. And I find it so interesting that we're willing to put so much weight on activities that we think are, are deemed impressive, but we don't actually believe in. 
And I think that if we all focus on doing activities that we like, just like how we did as children, because you rarely see children willingly choosing to do activities that they hate, we'll be able to build a life that's a lot more enjoyable and go after the dreams that we really want to achieve. And in addition to doing activities that you like, it's important to go easy on yourself. Something that we did so easily as children, but as we get older, we tend to beat ourselves up about our little mistakes and trips we have along the way. I learned this, I, this is something that I practiced as a child and throughout, my, throughout growing up. Keeping in line with my preschool proclamation that I wanted to be a boss, I, went for, I applied for so many leadership positions throughout my childhood. I ran for my president of my ninth grade class, and I didn't get that. I ran for treasurer of my 10th grade class, and I didn't get that either. I applied for prefect, and I wasn't chosen. I started countless, countless clubs in high school and college that no one came to most of the time. But I kept that childlike innocence to believe that next time was the time that it was gonna work out. I really believe that every failure, even when you fail, is just a stepping stone towards your, towards your dreams. And I really believe that if we all dreamed boldly and do activities that we like and focus on being easy on ourselves, our dreams will become so much more attainable and we will have a lot more fun along the way. And I know this because this is what I had to do. I'm a young black female entrepreneur who started a company with no capital in a city in which she didn't know anyone. There were so many practical reasons why I couldn't do what I wanted to do. I did was too young. People in my field don't look like me. But when I focused on dreaming boldly and doing what I loved and going easy on myself throughout the way and not beating myself up over my mistakes, that's when I was able to really go, out, go after what I wanted to. And I was catapulted in a life that I didn't think was possible until 10, 15 years down the road. And now I own my own business and every day I get to work on something that I actually enjoy and help people along the way too. So I urge you, Dream boldly, do activities that you like, and go easy on yourself, just like you do at, did as kids. Because you don't, shouldn't put restraints on your dreams. It's your life. You have those dreams for a reason. You have to go after what you want from the beginning. All you have to do is think like a child. Thank you. <laughs>